Hello, welcome to our Cisco DevNet Associate video series. This video will show you how to set up your DevNet Associate lab environment. In this lesson, you will learn about the following. First, we're going to show you how to install Docker Desktop. Then, we're going to install an integrated development environment uh, called Cloud9. Then, the last part will be the installation of Postman. Alright, so on this level, I'm going to show you how to prepare for the your lab environment, right, for the DevNet Associate course. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is to install what we call as Docker, right? So just uh, install Docker Desktop, search for it, then there. All right, then download the image or download the installer. So this is just going to take some time to complete. And after this one, it's going to require a reboot of your machine. Okay, seems that the installation is completed. Then let's close it. Let's see if it still if it still needs to the machine to reboot. Or it seems that I don't need to reboot it. The the reason behind is that I, I installed it last night. Then I tried I just tried to install it today so I can show you the video. Alright, but normally this it's gonna require you to you know to reboot the machine. Okay, so it shows here it's still running. Okay. Skip the troll tutorial. All right, don't don't mind this one. Okay, so close it. So so after this one, it means that your Docker desktop is already running as showed here. Right. Then open your terminal. <clears throat> so go to CMD. All right. So the first thing we need to do um, is to, to download the Docker image, right? That we're gonna use to create the container. Uh, for our labs. So the command for that is docker pull sap k cloud line. All right, so with our um, labs, we're going to use an IDE, which is uh, cloud nine. All right, so it's easier to, you know, to access the code and modify the code and execute it. <clears throat> okay, so it's done. Um, so let's now verify, right? Um, if it's properly downloaded, so the command is Docker images. Okay, so we can see the SAP K, this Cloud9 image, right? It's it's good. Okay. Now let's go in and uh, create the lab container. So, you know, Docker can run. Um, Docker run command is used to run Docker containers. The Docker image downloaded in the previous step, it contains a web IDE, as I've said, which is Cloud9 IDE. Now, before running the container, ensure that port 5000 in 8080 uh, is not being used. So, for us to do that, you need to type this command minus D. 5,000, 1,000, minus P, E181, okay, out my, what, put Cisco, Cisco, okay, um, all right, Let's execute it. So this this line, right? It's just to add authentication to the web IDE. 
right? And we're going to use Cisco Cisco. Enter. Mm -hmm. Full access denied. Docker login. Uh, let's try again. Okay, there we go. I don't know where... Ah, okay, because it's minus P. This, that's an incorrect command. Yeah, right? So at this point, we have created a container. Let's validate the state of the container using the docker ps command. Yeah, if you see the same thing, right, it means that um, this is the list of the running containers in our machine. Okay. Let's give you this, this command to show you all of the list minus a. So again, right? If you if the container is if you exited if you exited from the container, you can use the command Docker start, right? Something like this. Docker start and put the container container ID, right? So to start the container, you must use the container ID. Um, which is this one. Okay. So exit, just um, click or type docker kill, then put the container ID. Paste it here. Okay. All right. Now um, let's access the web IDE. So, right, so once the container is running, we just need to go to the browser and type something like this. Um, HTTP, hold on. actually just local host, port 8181. Okay, so just put Cisco Cisco. That's what we con con configured earlier, right? There. There you go. So this is our um, web IDE, which is Cloud9. All right, so as you will notice, when you go here, you go to like a, a Linux terminal. Right, let me make it bigger. Right, and you're already on this um, directory, which is called workspace. Okay. Right, so this container is actually running on an Ubuntu-based system. So using the Cloud9 IDE terminal, um, we need to update the OS packages and uh, install Python 3. So the command for that, right, you just need to base it from, from the lab guide and paste it here. Okay, install. Okay. Um, I'm also going to show you how to install Postman, right? Because we're going to use it for 
uh, to communicate to you know so send different requests um, to an API so yeah just go to postman.com and then just download it and install it okay download okay so once downloaded it's already an exe exe file so just execute the file Okay, so once wasn't once installed, then you should be able to see um, this uh, particular GUI, right? Which is yeah, it shows Postman. I have some collections already here because I, you know, this is already installed last night, and I have some collections and request configured. Of course, during initial install, you're not gonna have any uh, collection within your Postman. You should have to create it. Okay, so this is the um, lab setup, and we're running uh, Docker Desktop right for our for our labs. Thank you very much. In this lesson, you learned about the following: you learned how to install Docker Desktop, Cloud9 IDE, or Integrated Development Environment, and the installation of Postman. Note that all of this uh, tools will be used throughout the course. We appreciate your time and thank you for watching the video.